Oh, whoa, wow. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Buxu. Check the link down below and use the code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box. Hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. And since today we have a food kit, guess who's back? It's me. It's me. <laughs> my sister Sika, because y'all apparently I ain't enough, so the comment section be full of where's my Sika. Oh really? Mm-hmm. They love you. Love you. Am, am I a third wheel now? Yeah, you are. Okay, so I'll let Okay, I'll see you later. Smart channel. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> what up, Grains? Another cast of trash. <laughs> um, kits. Yeah. Okay, get, 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 shoot. Whoa, there's a crack in your floor that made me almost fall. I'm not good at this. I'm not people social. So as I was saying, we have two craft kits from Amazon Japan. These are made with the characters called Sumiku Gurashi, made by the same company that you greens may or may not know as Sanrio, who also did. What are you supposed to say? You know the character. Cute character. It's a cat. Japanese. I don't know. Hello? Hello kitty? Yeah! Okay! <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> this is to let you grains know we are unscripted. Unhinged. <laughs> Fully hinged. <laughs> what is this? Like, I don't what's going know. on today? I don't what's no? I don't know. Well, I mean I can put up other fingers, but it's not allowed, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> That's it. I drooled mm. a little. <laughs> I know there's chocolate in the room, so like I'm over salivating now. The first kit we have is actually a chocolate making mold kit. It looks really cute, super interesting, but it looks like we're going to be taking chocolate and spinning it around in order to get it in the molds. So we don't have to heat it? We're gonna melt the chocolate in the microwave. Okay. Mm -hmm. And according to the box, it works with any kind of store-bought chocolate bar. So we went ahead and picked up- Store-bought chocolate bar? Like where else are you gonna get chocolate from? You can make your own chocolate. You're gonna harvest it? Are you... No? Am I wrong? Yeah, you're right here. Just take this and be quiet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> And then the next kit, of course, we're gonna have to wait until Sika stops with the wrapper. You know, I still have a bruise from last week. I didn't bruise you. No, not you. Okay, I was like, I was, <laughs> I wasn't even here last week, was I? Replay when I got bruised. Uh... Yes, I was opening a craft kit and the machine came straight at me and it hurt. A lot. I don't see the bruise. Well, it hurts. The bruise is on the inside. Just like when craft kits, they break my heart. They break my heart. Okay, hang on. Let's let's get to the next kit. The next kit is from a brand that we know here also in North America, which is Aqua Beads. But this time, again, Japanese kits and North American kits are usually not produced in the same way. If you're interested by that, check out last Friday's video where I actually did a test on two different sewing machines of the same brand. One from US and one from... Japan. You have sewing machines now? Yeah. No, okay. I'll, I'll show you after. Okay. <laughs> and again, the characters are from Sumiku Gurashi and they look absolutely adorable. So I'm curious how well it's going to work because the last time I tried this in North America, we were lacking beads. We didn't have enough to make all the princesses. It was a Disney kit. I'll link that down below as well. Also, let us know in the comment section below which one do you think is going to be the biggest failure. As much as I am very excited about the chocolate, I'm a little skeptical. I don't know. I find most Japanese Japanese products are very well made, so sure. I don't have, have faith. Okay. That both will do. <laughs> that both will do. Good stuff. Okay. <laughs> Just please. Good stuff. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give them some space so they can see the subscribe. Make sure you subscribe right over here. And while you're there, click on all notifications because I'm extra dangerous. But then I gave Sika a sharp pointy thing. You don't want to give me sharp pointy thing. I'm very, very dangerous. I don't know why I have an accent. I was like, where did that accent come from? <laughs> that's, nah. that's enough. No, no, that's enough. Well, you gotta like ruin my fun. Our first victim. Wow, uh, so well, you f ignored whoa, me. Whoa, whoa, what's your mouth? I'm just gonna ignore her. Our next victim. <laughs> Go ahead, announce it. No! I'm gonna let you be responsible again. Ch child? Child? No. Did you wanna lead? No. no Should I continue? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> you just wanted to say no. Whoa. Yeah, no. For those of you who don't know, Sika likes to howl. Mm -hmm. But I'm unsure. Mm -hmm. It's like Sika, do you wanna climb Mount Everest? No. <laughs> Our first victim. <laughs> I can't All this to say, we just took a detour and we're back to square one. 
Sumiku Gurashi Chocolate Maker. I am really excited about this kit because in theory it looks adorable, the molds look really cute, and the process apparently was really simple. You melt the chocolate, you, you spin it. Yeah, you pour it into the mold and you... It's like a centrifuge effect, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's centrifuge. I don't know what the word was in English, so I just Same said thing. it in French. <laughs> and when we turn the box on the side, it looks exactly the same process. Melt the chocolate, pour it into the mold, and voila, absolute cuteness. Now the question is, is it actually going to work with store-bought chocolate, as they said, or... Sorry, do you make your own chocolate? You could make your own chocolate. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> Not me. I don't, I can't make desserts. You can't make anything. <laughs> wow. Okay. Don't ask me to anything cook for you. Sweet. Mm -mm. Anything sweet. Anything mm -mm. sweet you can. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Your cooking mm -mm. is good. It's just not your sweets. They're mm -mm. very bad. No more lasagna. You don't make me lasagna. You haven't, bechamel. Made, you haven't made that in years for no me. No more grape leaves. Actually, the last time you made it for me was... <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> and when we turn the box even more around, we just see the items that we're getting inside. Which means that we should stop talking because we actually do get to see what we get inside. <laughs> why are you laughing? Like, why are you see? Because you said turn the box around and I was trying to find a mean comment about it, but I said again. <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> My brain. Honey, no. I have no pity for you. You've been like bashing me since the beginning. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. I have to be somewhat mean to you. Just don't listen to her. I'm actually a pretty good cook. <laughs> you can't make sweets for <laughs> I can't make any desserts because I am the salt. It just makes me laugh every time you tried to make cake and dad was like, don't let her make it in the back. That's true. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. We get the wheel spinny mechanism where we can put the mold and turn it and it really turns very interestingly. Like choppy? Mm -hmm. Well choppy because we were not very good at choppy. it. Choppy. Listen to us struggle as we're turning it. <laughs> We get a little uh, mixy cup with a little spoony thingy. And what's really interesting is I think this is actually microwave safe. It goes up to 140 degrees yeah, Celsius. So if you grain C down here, it's exactly what Sika said. Pretty interesting. I might end up keeping this. I mean, it's a pretty good product in my opinion. If you can heat it that far off. I know, but we haven't even tried if it works yet. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We also get six different molds. They look absolutely adorable. I, w I, I really hope this works because that means our chocolates are going to be so Super cute. cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. Like my sister. Oh. I know you've like abused me. No. I still love you. No. And you are cute. Sometimes. But sometimes cute things are deceptive. Yeah. Hmm? Yup. Yup. You just agree. Yup. <laughs> And we get foils of different colors to wrap our chocolates. Yeah, so in case if you want to make a chocolate and you want to share it with your friend. Which I don't know who would do that yet. Like, you might as well just eat them all. No, but if you have... No. What if you want to bring me a chocolate? When did I last bring you a chocolate? <laughs> There you go. By the way, this kit cost me $27.50. Well, in, in Japanese yen, so okay. more or less the I same. I was like, is it yen or Canadian? Okay. Yen. Hmm. About the same. Hmm. According to the instructions, we're going to be putting... How much did I say again? 33 grams, right? 33 grams of chocolate in here, and then we're going to melt it. So Sika already did the calculations. Go ahead and put our chocolate. And we're using Hershey's as the first chocolate. Hmm. It's already melting, so it should be pretty quick. You know what that means? Go ahead and microwave it. You and trust me with this? Yeah. Just don't keep licking. Like, Grains, if you saw the video where we did a chocolate pen, her tongue was all over that chocolate pen. Let's take a quick reminder. A quick reminder? Yeah, a quick reminder of how many times she licked it. How many seconds of time? Wait! Ah! Stop it! Let's listen. Sorry! Stop it! <laughs> You're so noisy! Sorry! <laughs> Flashback to Sika licking chocolate throughout the entire video. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, white chocolate. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> My thing. Oh, wow. For me. And you're still eating. Time. Okay, five second intervals. Nothing. Sika's, Sika's grooving. She knows there's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> and how's it looking? Like, like a little melty? Okay, keep going. All right, so technically, if we were smart, technically, mm -hmm. we should have put the mold in first before no, melting the chocolate. You need to, no, because your mold has to be open to put the chocolate in it, no? Right, but we should put the mold in here. But in then it's mechanism. gonna hold it, and then you will be able to put your chocolate no, in it. No, you're supposed to put one half first. Uh, what? Oh, now I'm confused. Mm -hmm. Help. <laughs> My brain. So we were half right each. We technically should open this. 
unlock, but we don't put the mold in yet. We're gonna do the little shrimpy thing. So we're gonna pour the chocolate in here and then close it and then put it back in here and then do the spinny spinny. Okay? Mm -hmm. Are you eating the spoon? It's, Come on! It has a cool texture. I like the chew on it. Well, now you've already been chewing on it. They can't, they can't see you chewing on it. Here's two angles, Sika. Chewing on it. <laughs> so here's our chocolate consistency. So and I put the whole thing? Yeah. Or what? as much as possible that it doesn't overflow. That's pretty... Oh, okay. Sorry. No, don't lick it. I know you. <laughs> I know your kind. Jaggy! And your liquors. Get, oh no! There's nothing Get, in the ears though. Yes, but use your. your you have a pointy part. Mm -hmm. Oh man. <laughs> Cover. Love you. No. Watch your fingers in my. Way. Don't watch your mouth. No. I don't think it's closed properly. Close it properly. What do you think? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Now Listen. shove it in there. Shove it okay, in. Okay, so now we're gonna have to put it into the locked position. <laughs> oh, you have it? Yeah. No. 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 Do not have it. <laughs> don't panic. <laughs> okay, I think I got it. You got it? Yeah. Okay, now so now it's just 60, 60 spins. In a minute. Let's see. Ah, oh. Where's the sorcery? Go on. I think you're spinning the wrong way, but don't change the right. Don't change directions. <laughs> <laughs> don't change directions. Hey, no. You got this. Oh, let's look at. I think you're supposed to go faster. I'm trying. Okay, hold the camera. I got this. No. No. Oh. I am committed. Oh, no. It looks it looks wonky. I see air bubbles. Jagger! Okay. Oh wow, that's harder than I, I told thought. You. <laughs> Jerk. You know what? I'm gonna do it sideways. There's air bubbles. <laughs> Eventually. Alright, so we've been spinning for the better part of at least two minutes. We still have some air bubbles. So you can show us where they are. There's one at the bottom. Yeah, it's a butt. Do you have a better view here? Yeah. Yeah, I have a better view. <laughs> so. And there's one oh, on the, no. the head somewhere too. Yeah, right there. Can I go do watch your finger, please? I don't want to get <laughs> stuck somewhere. Oh there. there. So we have two air bubbles in these sections, but I think at this point probably the chocolate has become too hardened for it to actually matter so there's we're also um leakage all around yeah, the bunny on the outside I'm trying to find a problem yeah, there. yeah right okay, there, there. <laughs> so we're going to take it out go ahead Sika. but on our second attempt what we're going to try and do is make sure that the chocolate is a little meltier and work a little bit more quickly this time i'm gonna start yeah because that's gonna make wow it i'm gonna lick the camera i don't even know don't lick the camera <laughs> disinfect everything it's warm yeah that's what i'm saying okay put it in the fridge mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> so while Sika's putting it away, you can see that it's gotten really thick. So I'm guessing it probably won't go everywhere. So you can see this is, yeah, not gonna didn't happen. Have enough chocolate? All right, this next one is going to be mostly Cadbury mixed with Hershey's. <laughs> you just tossed the chocolate, you're disrespecting it. And you're looking! It's melting! You think I'm not gonna point the camera at you? Oh my God. And we're gonna use the cat mold for this one. Now Sika's on the other side, making sure that the chocolate has been melted. And all I hear is, <laughs> I'm like, stop licking! How do you know I'm licking? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Watch your mouth! Here we go. Alright. Just start pouring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. <laughs> okay. Go, go, go. Don't be messy though. Don't be messy. I'm trying not to! Okay, stop. Look, I did good. Stop. Yeah, ah. I can, stop. Don't lick. <laughs> okay, we're good. Why would you use the other end? Because that's the pointy part! Hurry! We're on a time! Okay, okay, calm down. <laughs> okay, go ahead and put it in the machine now. So are you turning? Yeah, I'm turning. Okay, watch your fingers. Okay, you have you have a good grip? <laughs> Jackie, what's happening? It's you not getting a grip. Oh, wow! I grow today. I you didn't put it in right. Okay, go ahead, do it then. <clears throat> you keep licking your fingers. Maybe if you stop licking your fingers for two seconds. Because it's sticky! Go! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, watch your fingers. <laughs> Oof. Oh, that doesn't sound good. That is Jackie, keep going! I'm going! <laughs> What's happening? I don't know why. We're going too fast. The one that I actually spinned has no air bubbles. Spun? Spinned. Spun? No, that you spun? Both are correct. Okay. Well, you gotta judge me. Both are correct. <laughs> so we don't have any air bubbles. Do a, do a 360, please. You have a bubble there and yeah, there. Yeah, but it's not as big no, as the one that you had. Oh. You got some there. Okay. Yeah, we still do have a lot of leakage. So I think there are a few flaws in this machine. Actually, there's quite a bit of flaws. We're, we're gonna talk about you. those. Yeah, we're gonna talk about those after. All right, this one, shove it in the freezer or fridge. Much, much, much later. Are you talking? What is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we are one hour. Yeah, probably more. Yeah, well, we gave it long time. enough. <laughs> it's 
same thing in different words. Okay, so I'm going to unmold this one. Sika, do you want to start with yours or mine? Mine, since we started with that one to begin okay, with. Okay. So, so it was in the fridge longer. All be right. gentle. I'm going to try. I'm really scared it's going to just come apart. Be very gentle. Jackie? Yeah, try to unlock from here first. Oh, I don't think I can. It doesn't have the tap. Oh. Yeah, it does. Gentle. Oh. oh. Oh, no. no. But there wasn't enough chocolate, I think. Oh, I can't even get it Is off. Is it stuck? No, because you're supposed to gently push from the top. Like so. See, you're getting all that air in between and it should come right out. Oh no, it's too thin. There you go. See? It's too thin. There you go. Oh, it's oh, the ear just fell out. Okay. Okay, so as you grains can see, it's definitely way too thin. This chocolate is not holding enough integrity. So even if we want to push it out, it's, it's just coming cracking. apart. Yeah. All right, let's try the thicker chocolate. You still, still licking? Yeah, it's all over my fingers. All right, so I'm going to just remove this and then this. I'm gonna approach it very differently. I'm gonna just push from here. Oh, oh well, what that was happened? hard. I think it just split. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you actually got it out. Yeah, okay. So do you think the first one we didn't put enough chocolate? Probably, that could be the case. So let's let's be gentle. I removed my felt. Let some air come in. This is very stressful. I'm stressed. <laughs> this is very stressful. Need to let some air get in there. I don't, you're not supposed to push too hard. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I just need breathe. to breathe. <laughs> yeah, definitely breathe. That would be a good thing. Oh my God. Oh, there's some air coming in. This mold is just not releasing easily. And already on the outside, all the chocolate that was on it's the melting. outer part, yeah, it's melted. I feel like it's releasing very slowly. Is it? Well, yeah, because this isn't holding anymore. What if you tug on his butt a little bit? Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Oh, chocolate. It's missing a face. Yeah. Do you think that's us or the mold? I'm pretty sure it's the mold because... Oh my God, look, look, it's melting. Jackie. Okay, stop it because you're going to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say if you can't beat them? Join them. Uh -huh. Really mm. good chocolate though. Pretty good. And so as sad as we may be that this kit didn't work, we did try twice with a thicker chocolate and with a thinner one, and it ended up being extremely difficult to unmold. And not just that, but the chocolate was already getting extremely liquidy. I mean, Sika had a feast. It's not my fault. I had to I do. didn't say it was I a had bad to thing. Clean up, okay? <laughs> <laughs> clean up okay i was just doing my job <laughs> not to mention there are so many design flaws it keeps moving from its place so even us as very strong grains we had a hard time keeping it down and also the lever that we're turning it from is just too stubby it would make more sense if it was an actual handle in this case longer would have been better so maybe this does work with japanese type chocolates maybe the consistency is different maybe yeah but i would say that for North American type chocolate and we tried a little bit of different types. I would say unfortunately for about $30 this kit would go in the trash. <laughs> oh, nice catch. <laughs> Our next kit Aqua beads, also Sumiku Gurashi, the, the cute little adorable characters. I feel like that little blue dino on top could be Cousin Derp or even just Pickles' cousin or far distant cousin. There's also like this green thing and it kind of just looks like a certain leaf. This one here? Yeah. You said it looks like what? A certain leaf. You know what? I can't, I can't argue. It does look like a leaf. Certain leaf. <laughs> You guys could try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting coached. <laughs> okay. For those of you who don't know, aqua beads is kind of like paint by number, but they're tiny beads, and then you squirt it with water, and it solidifies, and you make some really cute charms. If you and squirt it with water? Why? If it, like, yeah. bonds it? Yeah. Okay. You've never done this before. I don't think so. Okay, so I think you're gonna enjoy it, because the last time I did it, I enjoyed... Well, let's see if this kit actually is good. And yes, it cost me $23. So in theory, for a licensed product, it's not that bad in terms of pricing but as I was saying not only do they give us the charms that we're going to make but they seem to give us stands so that we can display them you okay why yeah are you, why are you laughing that's funny that they give us stands I thought like usually these things are like keychains no yeah hmm. but I don't hmm. think they give us mm. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think they give us keychain things okay oh yeah look at that it stands yeah so if you we turn the box around it does seem like we get a lot of stuff but not not keychain key charm things and then on the complete right hand side it seems like they're telling us we can buy bucket loads of more colors. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Look at this. Greens look. Ah. Ah, Jackie. I'm gonna drop the camera. Pull <laughs> it. Alec. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Are you drooling on me again? I know I'm not chocolate and you can't just lick me, but it doesn't mean you- No! I knew it. <laughs> Alright, time to see what we get inside. That was really close to my face. Hi, <laughs> Grady! What? <laughs> I don't know why my head balances everything. Oh! Okay, here's what we get inside. All kinds of colors of beads for the characters. And then we're just gonna push this. No, no, it goes this. I'm pushing it! It's my turn. You're extra. Mm -hmm. We also get the mechanism pen, but this is very different from the one I tried because it has this little pushy, thingy. pushy thing and a compartment where you can put your beads in. We get our patterns as well for the characters. So cute. A water spritzer. Oops! Oh, that wasn't on purpose! <laughs> of all the things! I can knock my head! Yeah, but I was trying to like fit it in and then I didn't notice Okay, no, go the... ahead, no, go ahead. It's a workstation! Where you can also- <laughs> Hang on, bring it back up! Push it! <laughs> so you can store your beads and also you can make your design in here. We also get a scoopy mechanism, which I have like no idea. Thingy. Yeah, I'm not sure how to use it, but we'll figure it out at some point. You scrape it. Okay. And we also get the step. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Why you gotta do that? We get the stance. <laughs> so inside the box, we have a kind of advertisement pamphlet where they show different sets. Expansions? Yeah, expansion kits. I actually have... The Mario one. The Mario one. It is adorable. Can we do it together? Uh, please? For fun or now? Oh, not now. I have to get home. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll test it on another Eventually, video. Eventually, yeah. Eventually. So we'll, we're gonna do this one at some point, but beware. It's really just an expansion. It doesn't come with a pen. It doesn't come with a mat. Nothing. It comes with just the colors and I'm assuming it came with the patterns, right? Yes. Okay, that's it. So, also, there's a cute... Cute R code. <laughs> Why are you mixing me up? So I can't good. talk! Cute R code. <laughs> we have a QR code that brings us to the website for aqua beads in Japan. And then we made our way to a video. So, we're going to take a look at this video, maybe see how we're supposed to use it. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right, so from what we can see is that we're able to just put the image right in the back, very similar to the other aqua bead type kits. Can you fill your pen? Yeah, there's apparently two ways that you can fill your pen, as, as you can see. I guess it see. depends what pen you get. Yeah, it'll depend on the, the box, box, the set you get. The version, probably even. Are you okay? Your words are heavy. I can't wear it anymore! Okay, and the usual, you just put it on top and spritz it. Now I'm really curious if they have a scoopy thing, because the scoopy thing is what confuses me. I'm pretty sure they'll have a scoopy thing. Do they have a scoopy thing? I hope they have. Oh. Okay, so this I think is acting as a scoopy thing. Yeah, no. No. I'm confused. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's just flipping over. We don't know. Are you okay, honey? <laughs> So I couldn't find a video of how to actually use this scoopy thing, but what what are you doing? You're so noisy. I'm organizing my sh**. Whoa, girl, you watch your map. Okay, so uh, I guess I'll show you grains what Sika's doing. She's organizing all her beads. My beads. All her beads. My beads. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Wow. Nothing, you just need to love me. No, love you and feed you, but apparently I don't cook very well. You don't make good sweets. That I know. Your cooking is okay, I guess. Wow! <laughs> oh, that's it. We're not friends anymore. No, we're sisters. So according to the scoopy thing on the box, we're supposed to go like a quick motion, so we're definitely going to be trying that out. And, and seeing if it's going- The zoomies. Going... The zoomies. Zoomy scoopies. Zoomy scoopies. So for the workstation, you can actually put the design that you want face down, and it's locked right in. Sika- so can... Oh, <laughs> wow, Sika, so you didn't lock it in. I'm gonna bite you. Don't do it. Don't do it! <laughs> and now we have the patterns. We just need to align it. Yeah, and Sika wants to do the little leaf. Well, it's a leaf, you know, and it's like my spirit animal. Mm. <laughs> and if you're my spirit animal... Oh, no. It's your spirit animal, too. It would be. Mm. It would be your familiar. Yeah. <laughs> And I want to make the little green penguin thing. So there's gonna be a lot of green usage, which I think is a good thing. So we can see whether or not they give us enough, enough right? Yes. All right. So let's My do the... hands sticky from the chocolate. See... <sighs> Maybe if you stopped licking your fingers all the time. You know I learned it from someone, right? Mm -hmm. I can remember Dad always saying, "Stop licking while you're nope. cooking." No, not me. I definitely don't lick my fingers. I'm gonna call Dad and ask him. Nope. Be like, Papa. Papa. <laughs> Father. 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 Did Jockey drink <laughs> liquor? <laughs> drink, drink and lick our fingers. <laughs> Alright, Sika wants to use her fingers. Yeah, I'm gonna reason. try. And I'm just going to use the pen as it's intended. So then we just like put things and then we... We're gonna try. Let's, let's, 
wait and see. Let's wait and see. <sighs> you greens asked me to bring this. Oh, whoa. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's see how well the pen works. So I'm pushing this part down and let's eh, that thing. Oh, oh my god! No. Oh, that is really hard. I don't think this is working out I don't for me. Think you're doing it well, and like you're just contaminating my pink. I'm sorry. So we ended up basically filling it up by just putting it. We. Well, Sika did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so here Sika is going one bead at a time manually. She's doing pretty good so far. Remember, I used to make phone cases. That's true. With but, gems. Yeah, but you had a pen stylus thing. Though. At first I didn't. Oh no. At first it was my fingers and tweezers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try the pen now to see how well it works. All right, so here we go with the pen. I'm just gonna release. Oh. Did you see? Ooh. Yeah. Look at you go. Oh my god. I was not expecting that. Look at that. I love this. This is amazing. Is it better than the last one you used? Heck yeah. Damn. Once we started doing it i that sounded wrong <laughs> once we started doing mm, yeah <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> No, Sika, no! So once we started putting this kit together, it was actually really fun using the pen, that little plop sound, and just letting it fall. Sika? This was my first experience with these beads, and I did it with my hands, and I was actually enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, there, there really isn't that much to I say. I was like, Other... what else can I say about this? It's relaxing, they gave us enough beads. It also works well with your hands, in my opinion. I didn't have any issues. I thought it was actually longer to fill the pen and yes. then put it in instead of just putting it directly into the mold. I agree 100% with Sika. So I felt like she finished much quicker than I did. Why this putting this kit together sounds so terrible? <laughs> I didn't say anything. But you looked away. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! All right, so now we gave Sika the spritzer and she's looking very dangerous. All right, so you spray the schnoozle out of it. The schdazzle? Schdazzle. Whoa, whoa, not the camera though. It's not the camera. That's okay. pretty soaked, right? That's pretty soaked. Wow. Now your little green leaf. <laughs> It's a kind of leaf. It's not necessarily a green leaf. Okay. And now we wait for an hour. Later. And here we go. How do I do this? Th this, this, this way? Or is it this way? I don't know. All right, let's just pull it. Oh, okay. There you go. <gasps> that is so cute. Holy carp grains. Look, they even made the indent here for pieces that are close to the edge. And we pull forward. Oh my god. Yes! Now's the perfect time to tell you grains about today's sponsor, Baksu. Spring is right around the corner and this means Hanami. And for those of you who don't know, that is cherry blossom season and it's the perfect time to appreciate cherry blossoms, whether it be walks in the park, picnics, or even in delicious themed foods. Baksu is going to commemorate Hanami season so that any order placed before March 15th will get a special edition pink box instead of the usual orange box. But be quick because stock are limited. However, for those of you who don't know Boksu, it is a monthly Japanese snack subscription box that is focusing on premium rather than just quantity. So you're getting amazing variety of flavors and they also partner up with companies that are well over 100 years old and very well established in Japan. So you know that some of the items you're getting in there are exclusive. For first time subscriptions, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan. It'll be a tasting of a little bit of everything and then after that, every month you will get a differently themed box. In addition to getting anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks that are absolutely delicious in a huge variety, we also get a really interesting magazine that tells us where our snacks come from and also a description of them to know whether or not they have common allergens and if they're vegetarian friendly. Having this guide helps me so much so that I can be able to share my snacks with Pat since he has a lot of allergies. This month's box is Mochi 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 and I remember the first time I had mochi in Japan. It is nothing like the ones we get in North America, I can guarantee you. Just thinking about it brings me back. Let's try some of the snacks. Mochi Mochi Daifuku Custard. You haven't had custard until you've had Japanese custard. Ooh, creamy smelling. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Holy carp, look at the inside. I need 20 of these. So good. Chocolate ganache mochi. Ooh, smells like fudge. Pretty dense. Oh, look at that thick chocolate. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is like truffle. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And heart chips. Interestingly enough, garlic. Oh, very garlicky. Like fried garlic chips. Here's the heart. Mmm. Tastes like stir-fried rice. Yes. 
And I have to admit, some of my favorite snacks in Boksu have to do with the ones that are mixed with some type of fruit. Whether it be peach or apple or lemons or oranges. And the balance of flavors is just not too sugary, not too salty, just right. Also, if you're interested to find out more about the artisanal makers that Boksu partners up with, they have links on their website to get to know them better. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below and don't forget there is the Hanami Sakura season coming up and do the code NERDYCRAFTER10 for 10% off. That is close to $47. Thank you Boksu for being today's sponsor and a huge supporter of this channel. And so here they both are. I absolutely love my little penguin type character. It is so cute. And Sika, how do you feel about your little leaf? I love my leaf, it's my spirit animal. <laughs> You're probably gonna turn it into a magnet. I was thinking a keychain. A keychain? Oh, no. <laughs> you really love it that much? Yes. Okay. So because this kit is really relaxing and it did what it had to do and it is licensed and the characters are really cute, I would say, oof. Aha, are you okay? <laughs> It's fine, I knocked my finger on the table, it's fine. This $23 aqua bead sumiko gurashi kit is definitely worth your cash. Was your prediction right? Which one was the biggest mess up? Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can find her at nerdysister underscore Sika on Instagram. And don't forget to add me on Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want to watch more Cash or Trash with Sika, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafty video, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.